My name is Donette. I'm a physical therapist assistant here at San Joaquin Valley Rehabilitation Hospital. Our main purpose here at the inpatient facility is to provide intense therapy for our patients who've experienced a lengthy illness or surgery so that they can go home and take care of themselves safely. Many people come to us after surgery, such as joint replacements, spinal surgeries, or cardiac procedures. Many surgeons will prescribe a post-surgical protocol of precautions. Now this means that there are movements that these patients should not make in order to protect the surgical site while it's healing. Our rehabilitation process includes teaching people about their precautions, the importance of maintaining the precautions, and living their life with their precautions. We might teach you how to use adaptive equipment or tools in order to accomplish your daily tasks while adhering to your precautions. For a total hip replacement, your precautions will be based on the location of your incision. Some hips are replaced with a posterior approach, meaning that your incision will be toward the back of your hip. Some hips are replaced with an anterior approach, meaning that your incision will be, will be toward the front of your hip. Those might be not crossing your legs, keeping your toes facing forward so your hips don't rotate, and no flexing your hip past 90 degrees. Now this means that you won't sit in a low chair or you won't bend over to tie your shoes. This will protect the healing incision and the underlying tissue that's been disturbed so that can, it can fully support the new joint. For spinal surgeries, there are three main precautions. They are no bending, no lifting, no twisting. Think BLT, like the sandwich. This will protect the incision while it's healing and keep the movement in your spine to a minimum around the procedure to allow maximum healing. For cardiac procedures, there are some basic precautions. No lifting of anything more than 10 pounds. No lifting of your arms above shoulder height and no pushing or pulling with your arms. You will probably be given a pillow or a stuffed animal in the hospital to hug to keep your arms close to your chest while you do things such as stand up or sit down or cough or sneeze to protect that healing incision. These are basic precautions for the surgeries mentioned. Each surgeon is different, each procedure is different, and each patient is different. So your precautions might look slightly different from the ones I've spoken about. Just because you have precautions doesn't mean that you can't keep moving. At San Joaquin Valley Rehabilitation Hospital, we are here to help you keep moving and make sure that you are moving safely.